All right, change things up a little bit here. A huge playoff game tonight for the Sacramento State football team looking to take their winning streak to the semifinals. A lot of people excited about this, but will reports of a potential coaching change affect the Hornets on the field? CBS 13's Andrew Hobner joining us now live with new information just in. Andrew. Yeah, guys, according to a source, all of these outside reports about Troy Taylor and Stanford have been acknowledged by Taylor to his team. That has happened prior to this game. So everyone's going in with a clear mind of what's on the table. Now, I want to stress nothing has been signed and done yet. The way college coaching searches work, he's the prime candidate for Stanford right now, but a lot can change in just the span of a few hours, let alone days. So whatever happens here on the field is separate. From whatever happens with that Stanford coaching surge. Now, it's a little bit of a damper for those that are tailgating here at Sacramento State, but just about everyone is happy for Troy wherever he decides to go. Need to get to the end zone. They will! It could be the swan song. It's got to be the dream come true, and he's. Uh... He deserves every bit of it. He's a great guy. Of one of Sac State's greatest football coaches. Troy Taylor has coached the Hornets for three full seasons and won three Big Sky titles, and now is making a deep playoff push. They know, you know, that they've expected that people are coming after Coach Taylor. It's been that way for the last couple years, right? But a coaching search has brought distractions. One the fans hope the players can tune out tonight. You always hate to have that announcement come just before you're getting ready to play a championship game. I mean, I think these kids are mature enough to handle it. They got, they've got to understand Troy's position. However, it ends. Fans are thankful for what Taylor has done for Sac State. He's our leader. You know, our our kids follow his demeanor. Um, and his style, and he, he's our play caller. Our offense goes what Coach Taylor goes, you know. Um, and we're, we're happy for him. They just hope he can bring home a trophy for his home before he leaves for good. I mean, you got to take advantage of what's going on. I wish him all the luck in the world. We all love him. I mean, couldn't be any better. Now, it's unlikely that we're going to receive any news from the Sac State football end of things tonight, but the team typically goes in to do rehab and training tomorrow morning and have separate team meetings. That's standard operating procedure. The thought is that if there is something noteworthy that comes up in the next day or two, that meeting is likely the time when it will happen. But there's still a lot of moving pieces from Taylor's side and from Stanford's side as well. 